way. Exactly. Now, we always are correcting Israel, right? These two thirds, and they don't like to hear it. They don't like to hear that you can't eat pork, all right? They don't like to hear that you can't have sex with another man's uh, wife. They're doing all that. Exactly. And they, they hate that you can't do that. That you can't do this wickedness. So it's hard to correct these these two thirds, all right? Tell me that you're gonna be able to correct Jay Z and turn him to this truth. <laughs> or niggas trying to act like Jay Z. Yeah. And, and, and basically idolize that nigga, man. Are you sure that was from Texas? Yeah. And they're, they're idolizing everything that the so called white man set up homosexuality, idolatry, adultery, everything wicked under the sun. That's all these niggas represent. They represent the so called white man because they're working for the so called white man. The school is saying they're worse. Yeah. <laughs> And they're worse because why? Because they're teaching their people all the fucking wicked things. Yeah, they, got they ain't the teaching them no righteous they things. Supposedly got the truth too. You know? Exactly. If you're in a high position, right? That's why the gates are of language. Because all our leaders, they done sold out. They got their money. They don't give a fuck about Israel, man. They're worried about filling their own belly. It says correction is grievous unto him that forsaken the way. And he that hated reproof shall oh, die. It says grievous. Correction is grievous. That's why the Lord also said in John that the commandments are not grievous. Y'all Israelites believe that the commandments are grievous, that they're such a hard thing to, to, to follow. Yeah, that's the first thing they try to do. The first thing they try to try to try to try to make an excuse of. Yeah. Oh, nobody can keep the whole law. They'll say they'll say, oh, oh, oh well, you know, look look at this. You, you look at your shoes. Your shoes are different materials. It's not to do. Look, you do it to your best ability. You can't just say, okay, well, because the clothes are major the majority of the clothes are made out of diverse material. I'm not even gonna follow the, the, the laws of the, uh, the dietary laws. Oh, man. The rest of his grievance unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hated reproof shall die. Exactly. That's why you two thirds are gonna die. That's why you so-called white people are gonna die, because you don't like reproof either. Exactly. There's a lot of reasons why you so-called white people have to put, be put down. One of them is your pride. Oh, I got You Moabites have just as much pride. Okay, you so you Chinese and you Japanese. Your fucking your fucking Gangnam style, okay? Your, your, your proud ass fucking dance that you came up with that's just gay as hell. No concentration camps. Y'all are proud too, thinking you're gonna be the next superpower. The, the truth will get him style on your ass. Uh, Proverbs 15 and 12. Proverbs 15 and 12. Listen up. A scorner loveth not one that reprove of him. Exactly. That's why they don't like us. That's why they talk. That's why they talk major shit on the comment board. Right? They don't want to hear correction. They don't. They don't like it. Okay. Go ahead. Neither will he go unto the wise. Yeah, exactly. He's just gonna keep leading to to evilness. All right. Exactly. Go, go into unrighteous doctrines. All right. Doctrines of YOLO. Doctrines of anal sex. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Doctrines of anal sex. Doctrines of Ephraim not being the the, the uh, one of the twelve uh, tribes of I'm Israel. Going, yeah, the ten tribes not yeah. being Israel. Exactly. You're gonna that's go to. That's how we teach. You're gonna go to people like that. That's why, that's why the Lord said two thirds, right? That's a majority. The majority of people aren't going to come to the truth. All right. Verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. The heart of him that have understanding seeketh knowledge. Exactly. But, Go ahead. But the fools, the, but the mouth of the fools feed upon foolishness. Exactly. That's two thirds right there, and the, and the ones that, like he read, my sheep hear my voice. All right, that's the ones that are going to come back to the truth. All right. And going to going to do what we do, okay? Try to wake up the elect. Stop stop eating abominable food, okay? Stop doing this wickedness. Follow the laws to the best of your ability. So Proverbs uh, 16 and 17 and 18 it says, "The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserves his soul." Yep, keep it the way, the righteous ways of the Lord. All right, and that's how you preserve your soul. By showing the Lord you fear Him. How do you fear Him? By keeping His commandments. By keeping His law, statutes, and commandments and following the, following the prophecies of this book. All right? It says, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Exactly. So you so-called white people that are all proud, okay, 
You two thirds are all proud that you got you got it made in, in a, uh, here in America. You're gonna be destroyed, all right? It says better is it to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Exactly. Exactly. So he that handles a matter wisely shall find good. And he so and who so trusteth in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, happy is he. It says the wise in the heart shall be called prudent. And the sweetness of his lips increases learning. Mm -hmm. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. Exactly. This is Psalms 40 and, and, uh, 40 and 4. Blessed the man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Yep. Put your trust in the Lord, all right? Oh, um, Yep. This is Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that had understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. <laughs> That's right. It says a rod is for the what? Go ahead. Yep, it says, Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that had understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Exactly. That's what it's going to come right down to, all right? When the Lord gives us the, the go ahead, all right, we're gonna take a rod and we're gonna beat the hell out of you, all right? You two thirds. There's nothing left to do with exactly. it. Exactly. Just like that Jake smash that, that uppercut of that bitch's head off on that uh, train, I mean on that bus, Slacky on that bus, there was no other option for him to do. People are saying that he should have called the cops. That bitch was not gonna go off the bus without a fight, all right, without her head being knocked off. He had every right to punch that bitch's head off. Reading on, this is part of Center 14. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Exactly. The mouth of the foolish is near to destruction. Thermonuclear destruction. This is uh, Proverbs 17 and 15. So he that justifieth the wicked, and he that can condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Exactly. You're coming up to us, telling us that. We're false prophets, all right? You're just putting a marking on your own head. This is, uh, is there more to that? All right. This is Proverbs uh, 19 and 28. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Exactly. Judgment is prepared. Right? The Lord's judgment is fierce. You gotta fear that judgment, all right? Yeah, and this is, you know, you know, when people first come into the truth, you know, they're born again. This is you know, it's truthful. Hey, pretty much when you come into this truth, the first thing you think of is, oh man, you know, I, I, this is gonna happen to me if I don't get right. You know, or you really, really, in your spirit, you feel like, oh, okay, what do I gotta do because, like Proverbs, 20, Proverbs 23 and 13. Uh, Withhold not correction from a child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Yep. Thou shalt deliver him from the rod, and shalt deliver the soul from hell. Right, you, gotta, you gotta teach him early, all right? That's why these kids, man, are running around like little demons, all right? Little devils, all right? It's why women at the age of uh, 13 already had sex with like seven dudes, all right? At, at one yeah. time. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Doing all kinds of freaky, yeah. freaky stuff, man. I, uh, I mean, you got these spicks, man, and these ne these negroes, all right, talking about being seven and trying and gangbanging and shit. It's Proverbs twenty-three and seventeen. Let not thy heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. Right? How? What's what's the way of envying a sinner? Trying to be like Jay-Z, trying to be like Kanye West, trying to be a, a, an actor, an actress. Trying to shine. Yeah, because you know, they didn't, they, didn't do, they didn't get up there being righteous. They got up there being wicked. So in essence, that you want you want to be wicked what, is what you're saying, okay? And y'all two thirds, man, you have no problem with that. This is a uh, Surat. Uh, now verse 12, delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember that they shall not go unpunished into their grave. Exactly.